Cancer Funks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for December 31st to uh, January the 6th. And if you like this reading, as I always ask you, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. You don't have to if you don't like to, want to, I should say. Um, I'm a bit behind in my comments, so I'm really sorry if you've um, left a comment and I haven't replied or whatever. Um, I will get back on track with everything to do with this channel again um, right now, starting from now. So I'm just going to start you reading right now. I'm not going to delay this anymore. So the first card you have, Cancer, for your past is the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this card um, is obviously about um, unfairness. Um, this man who's really, really well dressed, beautifully dressed, um, is obviously he's helping one person, but he's ignoring the other person. And um, yeah, a lot of people see this um, card as being three men. Um, but I always see a pretty woman on the left-hand side that he's helping and he's ignoring the man on the right. I always see that. But yes, I'm seeing um, give and take and I'm seeing someone who probably takes more than they give. Um, I'm not seeing this as in terms of money, even though this is pentacles, this is coins. Um, this is about time, I think. Um, because I'm seeing a sort of standoff in terms of time and I'm seeing a kind of a, a kind of a standoff in terms of I'm not going to give in, I'm not going to give in, that's what I'm seeing with this. Um, I hope this is going to make sense, I'll try and explain um, what I'm seeing. I think this might be about someone who you might have been on and off with. I'm seeing this might be a love connection actually, it probably is. Um, and you might have been the one who always contacted them first or you were all the, always the one who always uh, initiated everything, organized everything, sorted out everything, came forward first and I think you might have been uh, separated from this person at this time. But I'm not seeing a permanent separation. I think um, there might have been a lot of backwards and forwards energy between the two of you but also a lot of backwards and forwards going on in your mind. Should I go back? Should I stay here? Should I talk to them? Should I not? All of that kind of thing. And backwards and forwards in your feelings. You're kind of, oh, I'm feeling like I miss them. Oh, but I'm angry with them. All of that kind of stuff going on as well. But there's a kind of a knowing in there as well. I can see this kind of knowing. And this is a kind of knowing that you'd connect again. You kind of knew that you were going to connect with this person again and I think they knew that as well at this time. It was kind of inevitable that you connect again. But you know this time, at this time, at this point in time that I'm seeing this, um, you weren't going to be the one to contact them first. Um, it was going to be their turn this time. Uh, you were kind of determined not to do that. Um, yeah and this that might sound a bit petty uh, it might sound a bit stubborn, but you know, if this is all resonating with you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I think you felt as if you had, um, you'd had, a, you'd had, or you'd had, I'm supposed to, I'm trying to say, you'd had a lifetime of being the first person to do everything, being the first person to kind of connect with them, being the first person to kind of call them, being the first one to text them, being the first one to organize everything. Um, and you know, you had, you felt as if you'd had, you'd been through a lifetime of waiting for them to step up as well and they just weren't doing that. So it was like, right, I'm sick of doing this. I've done this the whole time, every day, all the time. I'm doing everything. It's their turn now and I'm not going to contact them. I'm waiting for them. That's the kind of thing I'm getting around that card. So the next card you have in your past is the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, the Queen of Pentacles can be about a lot of things. It can be about caring, fertility, abundance, stability. And um, yeah, you wanted stability. That's what you wanted. You definitely wanted stability. But you could have been feeling a little bit lost because that's this is what I'm seeing again, this kind of backwards and forward inside your heart and inside your head. You had a lot of love for this person who you're having this standoff with. And you really, really did love this person. You really did. Otherwise you would have completely kind of given up on them altogether and you weren't doing that. You weren't connecting with them. You were determined not to connect with them. But I'm getting this kind of 
backwards and forwards thing. Um, your heart really wanted this person, I can see that, but your mind wanted someone who was going to give you that stability, someone who wanted, who was going to step up and do the right thing and, and come toward you first and take some kind of responsibility. It's not that they're irresponsible, but it was just that you were sick of being the person doing everything first. That's what I keep on seeing. And you wanted someone that was going to give you that peace of mind that you meant enough to them for them to do things for you first. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that all makes sense with you. And I think you might have separated from this person a few times, actually. Um, you might have even dated a few other people or got into some other um, short relationships or something like that when you were separated from them because I'm seeing you might have been separating or you might have separated from them a few times but um, with these other people you just weren't getting the feeling that you got from this person you really missed the feeling that you had with this person um, and you know that's what you wanted you wanted this feeling but you wanted this feeling of stability and peace of mind at the same time. So that's this kind of backwards and forwards that's going on in your heart and in your head. That's what I'm seeing there. The last card you have your past is the Nine of Pentacles. So, um, yes, I think that, you know, when you were by yourself, when you're actually separated from them, you had whatever you needed practically, you were fine, you know, you're working or whatever and you had money coming in and you had a nice place you were in and all of this kind of thing. It wasn't that you weren't able to enjoy anything else or that you were kind of lovesick all the time when you were by yourself. It wasn't like that, it wasn't that extreme. But again, you wanted that feeling back when you were by yourself and no matter where you searched, no matter what you did, nothing could give you that feeling like this uh, woman in this garden. She's got everything she needs, but you had everything you need, but you just missed that feeling. It just makes me think of nothing compares to you, <laughs> that song. So, um, you know, nothing gives you that. You know, you, you have, you know, you might have nice things around you. You might have a nice time. You might be able to go and eat somewhere nice. You might need, you know, whatever, but you don't have that feeling. That's what you were missing. Um, so if this resonates, just be careful that this doesn't become some kind of an addiction. I know that sounds a bit over the top, it sounds a bit extreme, but this kind of craving of a feeling, it can be a little bit like craving a drug sometimes. I'm not saying this person's bad for you, I'm not saying they're like a drug to you or anything like that. I'm not picking up any kind of good or bad feelings around this person, which I do sometimes. I'm not, I'm just feeling quite neutral about them really, but um, just be careful that your feelings don't become so extreme that nothing else ever satisfies you apart from them and that feeling that they give you because you want to have other things in your life outside of this person and this feeling that you're getting. Um, just try to be a little bit more like the woman in this card. You know, she's happy on her own. She has everything she wants. She has everything she needs. I'm not saying leave them alone and be happy on your own. I'm just saying make sure you find a happiness in other things, most importantly in yourself, outside of this person. Um, because even if you do decide to kind of get back together or be with them, you can't put all of your eggs in the one basket. You can't just rely on that feeling. It's a very unstable posi position for you to put yourself into and if you're craving stability you have to give yourself that as well. It has to come from you as well, not just from someone else. So the first card you have for your present is the Ace of Pentacles. Obviously I love this card. Um, yeah, I think this is a message to you along with this Nine of Pentacles as well, again, to take up new opportunities, get into new things, build yourself up by yourself. Again, I'm not telling you to reject this person, I'm not telling you to leave this person totally, because I can see that your feelings don't want to do that, I can see that you want them, that's what I can see. Um, but, you know, don't do what you don't want to do. But the stronger you are outside of this connection, the better you're going to feel about yourself. Whether you're in this connection or not, you're going to feel better if you build yourself up. Nobody should have that kind of power over you where you're just craving that feeling and you're relying on that from them. If someone can give you that and you really love it and you feel amazing and nothing else gives you that, they can take it away from you. You don't want to be in that position. 
And um, I know power is a strong word as well. Um, I couldn't think of a better um, word than that, actually. But um, you never want to be under someone's spell where they've got you where they want you. And I, again, I'm not saying this person's horrible to you or they're kind of saying, ha ha, I've got them where I want them. That's not what I'm seeing. This is how you're feeling inside yourself. You don't want to put yourself in that position where someone is has that kind of um, spell over you. I can't think of anything else to say apart from that. Even if you do love them, even if you do care for them, even if they love you and care for you, you don't want to put yourself in that position. And if stability is what your head's been telling you that you need, this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is the ultimate stability card. So. I'm seeing some kind of um, an opportunity actually coming in with this card. Okay, I don't see this very often in this card. Um, this is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing creativity. And this creativity is something, it's around something that you might like to do in your spare time. If you like to sing, if you like to paint, if you like to act, if you like to do whatever it is, something creative. This is something that is going to expand on that thing that you already do. I'm seeing an idea that's going to seem as if it just randomly comes into your head out of nowhere. And it's to do with this thing, this creative thing that you're already doing. Now, it might seem that it's coming into you randomly, but the universe isn't going to bring you anything that comes in randomly. It doesn't do things randomly. This is the perfect time for you to receive this idea. And for me, I think it's coming into you at this time so that you can build yourself up outside of this person. I think you might be able to turn whatever this creative thing is into some kind of a, a, a business or something like that, a business idea. Um, and this idea that you have about how to go about this is also going to be really, really creative. You might have a website, you might have a way that you're doing this that's very, very, very different. This is something that's kind of like a whole new concept and it's never been seen before. It's something like that. It's very special. Um, I really hope this is making sense to you and I really hope this is going to resonate with you because um, this is really great. This is really different and I love seeing different, unusual, creative things coming out into the world. New, completely different things. Um, and, you know, if you do pursue whatever this is, um, what I'm seeing is it won't give you the exact same feeling that you've been craving with the love of this person, but this is going to give you a different feeling. This feeling is going to feel equally as positive to you. It's going to feel as equally... Go away. Yes, it's a motorbike. It's going to give you um, a really positive, really fantastic, really good feeling, but it is going to be different from this feeling that you get from this person, this love feeling. Of course, it's going to be different but it's going to be equally as happy and exciting for you. So this is going to show you that you can get happiness and excitement from different areas, different things, and things that you're giving to yourself and things that you are doing to build up yourself and your own self-confidence. That's what I'm seeing in that. The next card you have for your present is the Eight of Wands. So yes, there's going to be a lot of interest in this if this is what you do. Hopefully when this happens um, and this all starts to take off, I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of interest, a lot of people being interested in this. This might be something that you're doing online. Uh, it, might be, uh, it might be a channel on here or it might be something that you know, you might start a channel as part of your business or something like that. This is something that's online, something that's kind of going through the air, flying through the air. It might be a podcast, might just be a website, might be an online store or something. Um, there are going to be a lot of people communicating with you about this. These are going to be, you know, clients or potential clients. There's a lot of action around this, a lot of interest around this. Look at these arrows, these wands flying through the air. The best reason to start a business is because you want to work on something that you naturally love doing and you want to bring that out into the world and share that with other people and that's what I'm seeing this business is going to be. This is the best, best reason to be starting a business and to bring things to people and that's what I'm seeing in this. So I really, really hope um, you're, this is resonating and I really hope you are going to do this. The last card you have for your present is the two of cops. 
Yeah, so I know I was seeing that you need to be careful of craving this feeling um, at the expense of other things in your life, but I can see why you're feeling like this. I can really see this in this card. This is why you're feeling the way you are. Um, you feel very, very, very closely connected to this person and you might even know what they're thinking, you might even know what they're feeling as well. Um, because I'm looking at this caduceus in the middle of these cups and um, sometimes to me this um, can look a bit like DNA, like you're very, very closely connected. Um, you almost have the same feelings, the same everything. It's just very, very, uh, when I see that close connection, it's it's a very, very special connection. And so that says to me that you do have these very strong feelings for this person. I can see that here and they do for you as well. But again, if you look at this card, the man is reaching out. He's reaching out to the woman. So again, here's this problem again. You're always the one to reach out first. And I can see that, again, I can see that you have very, very strong feelings for this person, but you're always going to have this problem with this person. You're always going to have this. And I've seen this backwards and forwards energy going on between you, also going on in your head. It's this kind of thing that I love this person, I have strong feelings for them, I know them inside and out. This is this very special connection. I don't want to give this up, but when they make me go first, when they make me do everything, when they make me do all the work, when they wait for me, this makes me feel unstable, this makes me feel uneasy. So, um, I'm not seeing them changing actually, I'm not seeing this person changing. What will happen, they might change for a short time, I mean if you come and talk to them about it and you say look, I am always the one to do everything first, I want you to step up, please do this because it's really, um, I'm struggling with this, I'm really unhappy, please do this. And they might say, well okay I'll do that. And they might do that for a while, it might happen for a few days, it might happen for a week or something, and then they'll go back to the default again. This is what's going to happen. So yeah, I can't see this person changing, so I think you're going to either have to um, not put up with them, but you're going to have to realize that this is what they're going to be like and uh, just kind of stay with them knowing that, or you might have to move on. If you do move on, I'm seeing that you're always going to miss that close connection that you have with this person. So this is why you're going backwards and forwards inside your heart and your head and everything like that. It's this kind of backwards and forwards between I love them but I don't want to put up with this, but I love them but I don't want to put up with this. That's what I keep on seeing in this. So the first card you have for your future is the Six of Cups. So yeah, I'm seeing family and I think um, there might be, this can be the card of reunions and family and innocence and all of that kind of thing. Um, I think there might be traveling around this as well. So I'm seeing that either you're going to be visiting someone who you haven't seen for a long time or someone could be traveling to see you. But you won't be alone in this, it's not like you're by yourself and you're going to visit someone. I think there could be a few people meeting up um, for this kind of small reunion or whatever this is. I'm seeing there might be an announcement around this. I think there might be an announcement about a birth or a pregnancy or something like that at this kind of get together or this reunion. Um, there's, there's fertility and there's children all over this reading. Uh, there's a rabbit in the Queen of Pentacles, there's children all over this card and the Ace of Pentacles can also be about um, new life, new beginnings. Uh, leading to stability and also um, the seven of pentacles which is right at the bottom on the end there it can also be about um, birth and or not birth but it could be about pregnancy and growing growing that pregnancy um, so yeah that's all over this reading <laughs> so um, yeah there's a lot of positivity around this as well uh, this is going to be a really really enjoyable time for you I'm getting a really really good feeling around this and this really pleasant news, this happy news, and also just the time you're spending around this pe these people, this is going to give you a break in your head from this love situation. I, going back to this love situation again, I think this is going to be quite a long standoff at this time, actually, this time. But um, you will connect again. 
you will connect again at some time I'm seeing I can't tell you who is going to crack first um, it might be you uh, don't be angry it might be you um, but I know that you're going to connect again and I think you know this I think you can feel this as well and they can as well but if this resonates uh, when you do connect with them again um, whatever you do don't drop this opportunity or this thing that I was seeing in the ace of pentacles this is a real chance for you to be um, to be able to do what you love doing and make money from something that you love doing and it's the ace of pentacles whatever this is this has real potential to be really profitable for you and also give you that stability inside yourself give you that confidence and just make you feel really really good that's what I'm seeing the next card you have for your future is justice so yeah this can be about uh, balance obviously it can be about evening things up uh, which is the opposite from what's going on in the six of pentacles where things are completely imbalanced and I think that this is a message for you telling you to kind of weigh up this relationship like the scales on this card but I think you've already been doing this and I think you're all, you're still kind of going to be in a process of doing that because on the one hand you know the feelings you have for them are undeniable I can see that in the two of cups but then on the other hand the fact that they wait around for you to take the lead in everything really frustrates you but you know all of this um, but yeah it can start to erode your confidence as well when this happens having to chase someone all the time I've been a pos in a position where I've had to chase someone and it really really knocked my confidence because I felt like you know do they feel that way about me then if I'm doing all the chasing you know if they don't want to chase me then you know how do they feel about me it kind of makes you lose confidence quite a lot actually that's what happened to me anyway but um, yeah I think this time away from them in the six of cups is going to be really good for you whether you like it or not and from what I am seeing you've been here before as well you've been separated from them before but when you're apart from them before you probably didn't take the time to assess your relationship properly if this resonates um, you probably didn't take that time to really um, assess the situation properly I think you were just uh, missing them and saying oh I want to be back with them I miss them I miss them I miss them but you weren't actually thinking okay let's really analyze this and let's see what's wrong with it and let's see what we can do to kind of change things um, but this time this is what you're going to be doing so um, I think by the time you do connect with them again your head's definitely going to be a lot clearer and you're going to have a lot of things in your mind that you've kind of cleared up and kind of sorted out by the time you do connect with them again that's what I'm seeing I hope that makes sense the last card you have for your future is the seven of pentacles so um, yeah I keep on seeing this opportunity that I was seeing in the ace of pentacles and yeah again I think this could be another message to you telling you to firstly start this thing and make sure that you don't let anything or anyone stop you from starting this thing even your own mind don't stop yourself from even starting um, but you know if you do do this and you are working through this I think there might also be sometimes while you're on this thing um, a few times when you might start to feel a bit uh, discouraged you might even come to a few times where a few points where you wish that you'd never even attempted to make start this into a business or make your hobby or your thing you love into a business but um, you know these kinds of things are normal these roadblocks are normal and it is going to be worth it definitely financially uh, because there are pentacles all over this reading um, but also um, just in terms of how you feel about yourself confidence wise it's going to be great for that as well so please don't give up please working please keep on working toward this that's what I'm trying to say um, and look at how proud this man is in this card he's looking at this tree and he's thinking you know I, pr I planted a little seed and I started this and look how it's grown it's nearly as big as I am and look how far I've come look how proud I am of what I've made and that's how you're going to be um, when you're kind of on the way um, to finishing this thing or on the way to kind of working ahead with this business um, it's going to really really grow it's going to be really good it's going to be bigger than you ever imagined and in the end yes you're going to have frustrations that's normal but don't give up when you do have these keep going because this is what's going to happen at the end you're going to be very very 
very, very proud of yourself. It's going to be worth it. That's what I'm seeing. So Cancer, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you liked this reading, please like, please subscribe. Leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.